please subscribe and like us today. Thank you. Hey guys, Brian with Team JTR Spartacus here. Uh, we're gonna get started on the Synergy track bar and sector shaft brace today. Um, hopefully it won't take us too much time. We've got all the tools kind of laid out and we're gonna go ahead and jack up the uh, Gladiator here and get it started. So stay tuned. Okay, this is all the parts I think you need and there'll be a list down below on that. And uh, if there's anything else we need, we'll make sure we note it in the video and get you the details on that. safety stuff here uh, we're gonna jack this up remove the tires I've already loosened the lug nuts on the ground uh, chalked chalk the, the last the rear wheels so they're chalked so it doesn't move emergency brakes on um, all the sort of standard stuff you want to do okay I went ahead and loosened the uh, track bar bolt 21 millimeter socket and 21 millimeter wrench So I disconnected the sway bar, so hopefully this side should be, if it engaged properly, should be uh, disconnected from the other side. And then we're going to use 18 millimeter uh, socket and uh, wrench to go ahead and uh, remove this sway bar link, hopefully so we can get this out of the way and slide the uh, track bar bracket in there. All right, we got the sway bar on attached there and hopefully out of the way. We'll be getting the pitman arm off now uh, with a 42 millimeter socket. So we'll go ahead and get to work on that. Um, I'm not sure how well you'll be able to see this, but we'll try to uh, give you the high points of what's going on. And uh, my theory about the um, sway bar is incorrect. This side is not really the free side. The other side's more of the free side. So the passenger side with it disconnected. So he can't really move that sway bar out of the way. Hopefully we can slide the piece up underneath there. So we'll see. Get this thing kind of in here. It's a little hard to get the sway bar out of the way. Might have to find some kind of universal or something to get in there. Okay, 21 millimeter uh, flag nut and bolt, and the track bar is out. Seems like it'll be a lot easier, so we'll see how this works. All right, so now we have room. You get the idea, 42 millimeter, we have room because the track bar is cleared, so I'll go ahead and get that off, and then I'll come back. All right, we got that 42 millimeter bolt, this one, off of here, and it was not particularly easy. There was some Loctite on there and a lot of torque, but got it off. All right, now that the old one's removed, this is the old one, uh, you can discard this. And you have this new one that came inside the sleeve from the Synergy kit. So we want to take this and put some uh, red Loctite. So Synergy gives you some red Loctite. We'll get some of that in there. And then we'll just install it up there and we're going to torque it to 184 pounds. I'll make sure that's in the, uh, the description, but 184 pounds. It's going to be a fair amount on there, and we'll get that torqued up, and and uh, then we'll get into the next part. So the pitman arm bolt is in now. Uh, I hope you can see that. I can't get down there. And then, so now these are 18. So we're going to remove these four bolts, two here and two here. Um, and we're going to slide the uh, brace up in there and kind of just put in their hand tight to get it all situated for the next step. Hmm. Might have to get a longer extension here. All right, so the box is actually shifting. I don't know if you could see that or not, but the steering box is actually shifting down. We'll have to kind of line it back up um, after we put this uh, bracket in. Brace it. So 
we're going to carefully, uh, I think these bolts are going to be different. So the sort of rear ones will set down in kind of the position. I think the both rear ones are the same. They look like it. And I think the front ones are going to be a little bit longer. So these front ones are longer, quite a bit longer. That'd be fairly obvious once you see it. There we go. So, kind of give you a quick look. There's the bolts down there. Um, and we'll get ready to slide this uh, bracket in here. Kind of prop it up on one of these bolts. So it looks like Got to kind of wedge it in here a little bit like this. And then I think we're going to have to try to take one of these bolts, probably one of these long ones, and see if we can't and then try to get the box to come up a little bit with it so I got to get under there a little bit and position that box so we'll come back and then we'll move on to that next part which is a, a large bolt that has to go in the, the top of the braid all right so what I've done is uh, you have to kind of pick up on the box a little bit the easiest I found is just get the uh, track bar brace somewhat in place and we'll need to line this up you'll see here um, We'll get something to put in there, like a socket uh, or something to line that up. And then there's bolt right here. Hopefully you can see that. And this bottom bolt's kind of holding the weight of the, the steering box right now. So um, we'll get that all lined up and get this together. All right, so the next step is this bolt right here. Um, it's extremely tight, but it looks like it'll thread in. Um, and then there's a uh, top lock nut and washer that goes on the back side. So I'll go ahead and reach up under there and get that done. Okay, I got that on and uh, hopefully you can see up there. Basically just finger tight for right now. Um, and then the next thing we're gonna do is uh, this hole right here. We're gonna put this low profile one and it's actually gonna be on the inside um, coming out. So um, that's gonna go in right in there. Okay, now it's time to get this sector shaft brace kind of slid in here, um, up on there. And we'll have to kind of play around with this a little bit, it looks like, uh, to get that all lined up. But, so I'm gonna need both hands for that. So we'll come back and get that tightened up. Okay, so this is getting ready to go in, the sector shaft brace. Um, this and this uh, both need to get some some Loctite on them So we'll get some thread locker on there and then we'll get this installed probably can't film that uh, But basically this just goes in and we'll try to get a picture of it once it's in this one I think goes in the back this one goes in the front with this washer, so um, Stay tuned for that. We'll get that all up there Okay, so everything is installed. We're gonna put the uh, track bar bolt in here just to make sure everything stays lined up, so you can see that. Um, and I'll jam the nut on the back. And then we're gonna uh, go ahead and start tightening things up to torque specs. So Synergy gives you the torque specs. I think they're about 60 to 90 um, on some of these things. So go ahead and make those rounds. Um, basically tightening this, this, making sure everything is lined up properly. See how there's a little bit of play in that. We'll get that locked in. Actually, that back one just fell out. So I'll get that back in and uh, we'll get that all tightened down. So I was struggling in here to get to the back of that. So I raised the frame instead and lowered the axle to get some clearance so I can reach in there now and do it. So we'll get this tightened up. So we're gonna clean up some of this stuff and uh, torque some of these. The uh, steering box bolts, I tightened them down and now we're just gonna make sure they're at uh, 99 pounds. Those 
are torqued in. These guys are at 60. Um, I just got those. I don't know if you can see them. These guys here are at 60. I did those already. So make sure you use a torque wrench and double check and make sure this stuff's tight enough. Um, I think I got everything clamped down. We're gonna go ahead and get the track bar back together, sway bar back on, and try it out. A couple of minor things left. Um, so this little one here goes in the bottom of the actual sector shaft and it gets Loctite on it. So I'm gonna get some of the dirt off of this Loctite and get some on there and we'll get that in. Okay, so overall, uh, kind of a medium difficulty thing. Um, we're gonna go ahead and get the tire back on. I got the other side of the track bar on. We'll get the other, this side, the driver's side on um, once it's on the ground and level. Um, couple lessons learned. Okay, first, uh, jack the frame up of the Jeep. So check that out and let the axle come down. It'll give you room to work on the back side of that sector shaft. Um, I was finding I was getting jammed up a lot. So the lesson learned there, jack the frame up, rest it on the frame rails. I got two uh, jack stands for safety there. And I've got the jack under here under the axle so we don't have any issues. So nice and safe and everything, um, but just get that axle brought down to get out of your way. Um, next one, remove the track bar. It's just, a, it's in the way, um, hard to get leverage on stuff. It's easier just to remove it and set it aside. Um, I found that a lot easier. It's not a big deal, it's one bolt, one extra bolt. So that worked well. Um, other things, um, you know, I think just take your time. It took me about an hour and a half or so. Um, and that's with filming and kind of moving stuff around. So an hour is what Synergy says. So it seems pretty reasonable. It could be done in an hour. Um, you know, kind of take your time. If I had to do it again, I'd probably do it in 45 minutes. So um, I hope this helps folks. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get this all buttoned up, get the wheel back on, and then we'll go for a test drive and see how it does. Okay, quick drive after the uh, Synergy track bar brace and sector shaft brace. Um, overall, I noticed it's a little bit more centered, a little better. Um, I hadn't really noticed major issues before. Uh, but I definitely noticed now I don't need to put those little steering inputs in. So um, I'm a believer. I, I uh, basically did this to brace up for 37 inch tires that are coming. But even with the stock tires, it seems to show some improvement. Um, you can kind of see no little wheel movement. I think before when I would drive down this road, it has sort of little joints and stuff. I'd have a bunch of little wheel movements. So um, more of a little nuisance, I guess, but it's definitely an improvement. So um, I'm a believer and, you know, got a good deal from uh, Bad Attitude Off-Road. So overall, I'm impressed. So here we are going, you know, 55, 57 miles an hour um, on the highway again. A uh, lot less uh, little steering inputs can kind of take my hand off and pretty much stay in the lane. Um, hopefully you're seeing what I'm seeing. I'm kind of just holding this up and not looking at it, but um, basically the sector shaft brace seems to smooth out sort of those little tiny inputs that you constantly have to put in. So I know it's a Jeep thing, but the Gladiators seem to have a little bit more of that than previous Jeeps have had. So um, definitely a shout out to Jason at Bad Attitude Off-Road. Thanks for a good deal and the advice um, on getting this. And uh, stay tuned for further videos and installs. And go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button down there right now. Thanks. Please subscribe and like us today. Thank you.